agree. So here, this is the first thing because I do. Because uh, I know you're the you're the referral agent, so that's like yeah. Your... I, I I teach net. I've taught networking for 17 years. I've brought in. So just about me, real quick. So my I've been running networking groups for 17 years. Been teaching networking for tomorrow. Uh, no, Wednesday will be will be 17 years. April 1st, Amazing. 2003. So I've trained tens of thousands of real estate agents, mortgage lenders, insurance agents, mortgage lenders. Um, I met my wife. She joined one of my groups about 10 years ago, and like you, you there's no way you have the numbers i do you haven't been doing it long enough but but most people don't have the numbers i do so in nine and a half, i want you to hear this in nine and a half years my wife and i have done 550 transactions it's a crazy lot. yeah that it's is a lot, lot. Insane. very so i'm gonna i'm gonna pick this up real quick and hopefully i don't destroy everything so i'm gonna just i'm gonna unplug my laptop hold on one second of course. I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to flip this around. Can you see that shelf? Ah, my cable's not long enough. This would have been cool if it would have worked. Do you see a shelf up there? The trophies, yeah. You know those awards? Yeah. yeah th those awards are when you make a lot of money and a lot of sales. And that, that whole shelf is covered. Let me plug all my stuff back in. That's awesome. It's credibility. That's all it is. That's all those. Awesome of those 550 deals i've i think i've brought in well over 450 to 500 of those personally and that's through networking skill right. um and instead of me uh impressing you with numbers i'm going to impress you with coaching so first thing so you see your facebook page yeah okay i'm going to flip the screen do you now see your linkedin page yeah okay this one gives me a slight hint that you're a real estate agent yeah i don't use linkedin at all okay well here's the funny part linkedin tells me you're a real estate agent facebook does not really i see real estate right here but i scroll down here i just don't see real estate yeah i have to do yeah mm -hmm. so before i talk to anyone before I do referral partnering introductions, anything, I go to their LinkedIn and Facebook. And LinkedIn, at least it says Cold War Banker here, but Facebook, there's nothing. I like looking at all the big booties. Um, but uh, there's nothing here that shows me real estate. Yeah, I have to, that's I have my, to know that. Okay, that's my first, that was my first, very first uh, observation. Thank Back you. to camera. You see me okay? Yes. Okay. What I need to do to be able to – have you ever um, – uh, if I was a doctor and I – I don't know. I got I got coldies. I got Zycam here. Zinc. If mm -hmm. I prescribe this without talking to you, uh, prescription without prognosis is called uh, malpractice. Correct. So I have to ask you a few questions before I could just start teaching you stuff. Yeah. So. I need to know what you do now. What do you do now to uh, bring in any form of real estate leads, referrals, anything, buyers, sellers, whatever. I need to know the activities now. So I have been doing um, open houses. Uh, I've had for, for, leads for other agents. Correct, for other agents. Um, I do have like a real estate partner, although it's like a loose. It's more like a loose thing because he's my mentor, but then he was like, do you want to be my partner? And then it became that. And so we've been doing a lot of marketing together. Um, I have been helping him a lot in his listings and things like that. Um, okay. But he's not the best help in that because all of his listings come from like referral system within the company and they take so much of a percentage, but they just come to him. So he doesn't really do any lead gen, which is frustrating to me because all I do is lead gen. But well, so, um, look, could you, could you pause there and tell me when you say referrals from the company, what, how are those coming in? So Coldwell Banker has a referral system that other agents in around across the country will send you like depending on your, on your tenure and the company and like your results in the past. So, Referrals. If I'm in Oregon and I got a buyer in California, just send it to, to and I look and oh, he's been doing this for 35 years. Let me send it to him, and then yeah. I get a piece of it. Yeah. Okay. So the ahead. company 
argued actually a huge cut of that, a huge cut. But anyway, so like most of his leads come from that or like old old clients. So he the, the new lead generation, I'm more tasked to do. So mailings, letters, letters were actually working really well until this whole thing blew over. Like I found my groove, I found what exactly I wanted to say. And like the last uh, farming that I did, I sent 50 letters, I got four responses, which was like amazing, but just off market properties. Um, so I was gonna double down on that and of course all the stuff happened. So mm. in letters, uh, we have something like a Facebook lead gen situation where we have like an off-branded list of uh, off-market properties in the Los Feliz area under under two million dollars that kind of spiel and so we get but those are not well sorted so like you know for every term person you call one of them is like interested everyone else is like like kind of by mistake so there's that um we spend a lot of time in those kind of things um and sphere of influence that's the main things that i've been doing Okay, SOI. So go deeper on the SOI for me. Um, so friends of friends, I've actually have gotten, you know, some. But the thing is that since I'm a new agent, like it's it's been a year. I mean, mm -hmm. kind of less than a year since I've been a full time agent. It's been yeah. a lot of starting communicate, starting conversations, and getting people to understand the pre approval process, which is a whole frustrating thing. Um, mm -hmm. I made a lot of mistakes at the beginning that I was just focusing on buyers, and that was the wrong thing to do um, because it, I don't know, something like six out of 10 of them are not really serious or don't really know what they want. And I, many frustrations yeah. with that. As opposed to now where I understand sellers is a real emphasis. And then after that, everything else comes. So I'm still like shifting everything now. And this has happened in the midst of me, like having the come to Jesus moment. So it's like, ugh. So what I'm trying to do more now is more being <clears throat> community-based. So I'm starting a newsletter. I have started calling everyone on my list as of like Friday and like, how are you guys doing? Do you need me to pick up anything for you? And that has, I've gotten some good responses out of that okay. where people are like, oh, that's right. I haven't forgotten about you. I'm gonna go get pre-approved. So I just need to double down on that, like local, 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 local. Um, I started this little thing called Wine and State, which is actually really cute. So basically going to the businesses in Los Feliz, which is a very exclusive area in Los Angeles and basically start interviewing the restaurants and featuring them in my page. And people love that. I've only done two, but that's like been super positive. So I thought that I was gonna sprinkle that into my newsletter this week to put a little happiness into. So just basically providing information and being the go-to person locally. So when this is all over, they're like, oh, she was never trying to sell me. She was just trying to see how I was doing. Okay. That's how I'm pivoting now because otherwise I don't know what else to do. Okay, I do. Yay. <laughs> okay. So you're not going to be driving a Ferrari when we're done with this hour. And I'm going to go to uh, uh, obviously longer because of technology stuff. But um, do you want me to go deep on one or two things or give you a whole scatter shot of ideas? Whatever you think is going to be useful for me. Okay. A little bit of both. All right. So. I understand the whole buyers and sellers thing. Um, you can get both from, have you heard the term power partner? No. <clears throat> okay. Let me give now you a definition. Like, By the way, I'm recording this, so I'll be able to send it to you. But, but just in case I have a crash or something. Okay. <laughs> what, you define for me first. What's your definition of a sphere of influence? Sphere of influence, people in your circle that uh, could become clients or could become allies in your quest for clients. Okay. So it, to you, it's mostly like friends, family, or friends of friends, other people. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so one friend equals one sale. One friend of friend equals one sale. It's one effort to get one sale. Sometimes it's multiple efforts to get one sale. You knock on a hundred doors, you send out 40 mailings, um, and whatever you get back, you get back. Mm -hmm. But it's multiple efforts, like 40 mailings, right? To get one or two responses. Now, that's 
one side of your life. So I'm going to split your, your life. I'm going to draw a picture here for you. And I the camera's reverse, so just, all right. This is you, okay? This side of your life will go this side right here is going to be SOI. This is sphere of influence. That's friends. That's current clients, past clients. Now, there's a whole nother side I didn't hear you mention. So I'm going to explain what it is. See that? That's yeah. called power, power partner. So, okay. <clears throat> a sphere of influence <clears throat> is a person you know, past client, mailings, anything where it's multiple efforts to get in, one in return. <clears throat> Power partnering is if I'm looking at finding you, you were saying buyers, buyers come when you have the, the home for sale. <clears throat> I say get both, but it's quality. Mm -hmm. So gener always remember when you're generating leads, when you advertise, you're commoditized. When you're advertised, <clears throat> when you advertise or do any form of quote unquote lead generation, people only care about price can you give me some of your commission back can you discount can you this blah 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 now when we think buyer i want you to see my fingers if they're if they're a real buyer and we can qualify them they're the ones with the money right the seller has the product the buyer has the money so I want you to look at my fingers. I want you to name three industries that deal with this with an individual. Three industries. That deal with with the What's buy the money? Yes. Name three industries that deal with deal. Okay, me. Uh -huh. Three professionals that I talk to about this. Mortgage lenders. Write it down. Um, in our industry, I'm confused. Uh, mortgage lenders they deal with money, people's money, financial advisors. Write it down, accountant. Yeah, I was gonna say, what's April 15th? <clears throat> well, no longer. Okay. <clears throat> that's that's three industries. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm looking for, uh, I'm gonna show you the. Bear with me. I'm looking for my my land card because I'm going to sh be showing you something here shortly. <clears throat> okay, my wife Marcella can name 163 different industries. I asked you for three. Wow. Okay. So the way we did it, um. I, I, I try to only give enough to help you figure this out because when I'm not here, you have to figure this out on your own. Yeah. Um, sure. So, okay. If you sat with, <clears throat> I've had over 6,000 coffee meetings. My wife's had close to 4,000 one-on-one coffee meetings and you can do them. We're doing a one-on-one -on -one meeting right now. So people say, I can't meet. Bullshit. Yeah, no, there's <clears throat> way. So let's just use, uh, CPA and the person sitting with the CPA and car no, I'll use just me my grandmother died um, she's 101 so don't feel too too bad about six or seven years ago we inherited the house we sold it for 400,000 little tiny house 400,000 I got a hundred grand so before I go back to the CPA I inherit a hundred grand who do I need to talk to about that there's there's one or two in there that may add to what you said. Who did After I sit down with and he read a piece of paper to me that my grandmother filled out to tell us what we get? Who was that? Uh, the person that the deed, the lawyer, a lawyer. A state planning attorney. State planning attorney. Okay. You think he knows when people die? Yeah. He knew when my grandmother died because the first thing we had to do was sit down and he said, your dad gets half, my sister gets 25%, and I get 25%. Go sell the house. That's what he told us to do. Yeah. Same with divorce lawyers. 
family law attorneys too. They like to be called family law. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I've worked with hundreds of them. They they don't mind divorce, but it's a negative connotation as opposed to family law. Makes so sense. let's just let's just slow down and use let's just use the CPA. If you had 100 coffee meetings in the next few years, one a week, coffee meetings with CPAs and taught them what you do and what to listen for, which I'm gonna teach you what to say to them on the back of my card. I don't want, I just, this is on the back of, this is my land investing card. Got it. And on the back are the types of things that you're gonna wanna say, and I'll, I'll go over this all with you. So if you taught a CPA, every time you hear a client say, I'm renting and I have money saved, I think maybe it's time to buy, I don't know what my credit score is, uh, we got kid number three on the way. We need to make some changes. Hey, my kids just graduated from college. We're empty nesters. I think we're going to downsize. Do you think people have conversations like that with uh, with with their most trusted advisor? Of course. Let me tell you this: they have that conversation with their CPA and their estate planning attorney before the financial planner, because the financial planner, most people talk to them. And they're afraid all they're going to do is tell me more life insurance, more stocks. The yeah. more trusted advisor is the estate planning attorney, the CPA. Now, if you sat with a CPA a week for a half an hour to an hour in a coffee shop and taught them what to listen for. And when you hear a client say, we're empty nesters, we're thinking about downsizing. And then you do this. Could you please hand them my card? Where do you think you'd be in a year just from meeting a CPA a week? Yeah, for sure. So if I stopped now, you're welcome. It goes a lot deeper because because you gotta you gotta start coming up with the industries, then you gotta get them to meet with you. And then and I have all this is there like something that you offer them back? Because uh, yeah, power partners. Okay. So you so, offer so, them for you as well. Yeah, here's the thing. When business is slow or even you know when you're out there if you're you're kind of starting from you're working with somebody you got some stuff going on but 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 you want to build your own thing separate so you can get a higher commission. Yeah. Um then then in that case, let's just assume you don't have a lot going on so you don't have a lot of clients you can be throwing around. But I know the answer. It sounds silly, but I'm going to ask you anyway. In your whole entire life, have you ever met a banker? Yes. Duh. <laughs> have you ever met a business attorney ever in your whole life? Yes, of course. How about a business coach? Many. Too many. Do you think, do you think a business coach would like to meet a CPA? CPA would like to meet a banker. A business attorney might like to meet all of them. Mm -hmm. So this is just this is just a few cards sitting on my desk, just just random cards that are sitting here. So anywhere in your whole world, on your desk, at your office, wherever you are, do you have just cards laying around of people you've met? Yeah. Yeah. Start, start introducing them to each other. Mm. That's a strategy I held very close. I gave nobody when I was out there. I was out there building networking groups. I was crushing every other networking group where I live. So you don't have business. Let's just go on the assumption you don't have business to exchange. You're better off thinking that way because it's yeah. going to make you think this other way more. Because a, a salesperson meets SOIs, I'm using your term, sphere of influence, and tells them what you do to try to make sales. The power partner, so on this side, the power partner meets other professionals like you that you are never, ever going to try to sell to. If you meet a CPA and try to sell them a home, your yeah. card's going in the garbage the second you walk out. You sell to friends and family members, but with proper wording, I'm going to teach you how to chase, teach them how to get them to chase you so you chase them. On the power partner side, the way you entice them, you want to meet with a CPA, there's, there's two ways. Introduce him to power partners like, in, hey, hey, Mr. CPA, I'd love, to, I'd love to have coffee with you. And by the way, I just met a business coach. Would you like to meet him? And you try to entice him with power partners. 
the other uh, scripting I use, and it's in videos I can send you links to, is this is the guy you want to meet with. Okay, I'm just using a random card. It happens to be the one in front of my card in front of me. I would write a script that basically says, and I'm gonna I'm gonna use you because I don't want to write a letter to myself. Um, so, Angela, my name is Rick Silva, and I'm a I'm a I'm a mortgage lender, and I've got a pretty big network, and I'm always looking for awesome real estate agents to partner with. I would love to have coffee with you to learn more about your business. And when you show up, please bring, bring a big stack of your business cards so I have them to hand out. Do you get what I said? Bring yeah. your cards so I have them to hand out. Right, it's about and you, it's really about me. I just wanna hear Never about me. Yeah. Never, I did, I'm not gonna, I wanna meet me to tell you about my real estate business. Ah, yeah. no one gives shits about you, right? So, um, so, now, now here's a challenge you're gonna have because I'm looking at you, you're an attractive lady. My my wife is is very very pretty. Also, the biggest challenge you have with this is my wife with the whole flirting and the one and the, uh, I can't even imagine what you go through. I've That's two fake escrows. Men playing golf. Two fake. Escrows. Yeah, yeah. My wife gets that a lot, a lot. It's so frustrating. The waste yeah. of God's time. Yeah, I don't have. <laughs> There's an issue I don't have. I, I don't have the. I'm going to show you something real quick. Bear with me. And I, I, I kind of asked her not to tell me every time it happens because then I'm going to go to jail for murder. Yeah, no, exactly. I, I put it away like it happens, and I just. I, but yeah. you become a lot more discerning. You, be, you exactly know what's happening before it's yeah. happening. It's easier yeah. now. One's in. So one one of the things that's going to help you, and I'm looking for something real quick while I'm telling you, is when you build a referral based practice. Um, if I'm a CPA and you taught me what to say to a client, the client says, "Hey, I'm an empty nester. I'm looking to downsize, downsize, downsize." The only person I know that you got to call her. When I call you because my CPA told me to call you, I'm not trying to get you on a date. Right. No, no, no. So, and it's actually a very good practice. Oh, she's lovely. You guys are so cute. Oh, yeah, she, yeah, she's from New Mexico. So she's she's Native American, German, Spanish. I'm Portuguese, Native American, uh, uh, German. My There's dad is, my dad know. is, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, my dad is dark. I mean, Filipino co cabbage picker dark. My dad is dark. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm sitting and trying to get some light. I'm a little white boy, but. My mom's white on white. So anyway, so to paint the picture of how we did 550 sales, let's take let's take 150 off from my networking groups. Let's take 200 off and say 300 sales have been meeting with mortgage lenders, real estate agents. I do not meet with financial planners because land investing is in direct competition because most people buy land with old 401ks. Yeah. Estate planning attorneys, CPAs, those types. Um, the reason my my wife has 163, but uh, we get 90% of our business from five of those. Um, the reason why you should have such a long list is because now we got to now I split you in half for how you talk to power partners, how you talk to friends. But here's the thing. When you're gonna serve your client, I need to only go to you. If if I'm, I hope you hope you've heard some of these things before. If I'm a real estate agent and I put you in the home, I see you sitting in right there. It's my risk, and I've had real estate agents look at me like I'm crazy. And I'm like, no, you're crazy. Until you're making a million a year, let's assume you're crazy and I'm not. Is this? If I put you in that home. I feel it's my duty to introduce you to the person who's going to mow your lawn, paint your house, put in your carpet, clean your home, do your hair, do your nails, your new dentist, your optometrist, everything you need to survive. I put you in that town. It's my responsibility to provide those professionals. That's my opinion. If you don't do it and your partner doesn't do it, 
no, no, no. It's, it's what I've been I, trying to collect this whole learning of the whole business in a specific area. It's it's dominance. It's like you are the only person all these people know. Yes. And and what what happens here is if you become that go to person every time. So if if you look over that ugly green wall right there. If I'm whatever, I you move me in here and I don't like that wall. Just, just I'm gonna I'm just gonna tell you I live in a 1.3 million dollar house. I don't own this house I rent. I have multi 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 millions of dollars worth of land. Me personally, I don't do home ownership. I know it's crazy and I work with mortgage lenders, and real estate agents all day long. I'm being mentored by a billionaire who probably lives guaranteed within five miles of where you're sitting right now and we do land investing so that's why that wall is ugly now if you move me in here and i bought this place i would paint that right i'm gonna go i love this house that freaking wall is so ugly don't walk run to your car or grab your phone and you better be giving me the number of a painter right then now that does two things you become my go-to for anything i need in this house number one Number two, what what did you build karma wise with that painter? You build reciprocity with that painter. Now, that painter, you program his mind. Hey, the next time you go into a house and they say, hey, we're gonna paint this ugly ass wall and we're gonna do this and we're gonna do that. And then we're thinking of selling the home. If you program the painter's mind with that. Yeah. The painter goes, the only one I know. Totally. It's you. Instinctively, this is what I've been feeling, and this is what I was starting to create right now. So I'm yeah. glad you said that because it like reassures me that the plans that I was making are yeah. on top. So yeah, yeah, love that. So, so this is resonating with you? Yeah. Because if it, because it, I would, it, it's very rare. But if I'm telling people this, like I've had. <laughs> I mean, the the number of one-on-ones I can't count. I, I turned it off for about seven years to become, honestly, there's no way to water down to become, I was in 2008, I got divorced. My house went 300,000 under market. I did a deed of trust transfer. I handed it to my ex-wife. Um, I ended up moving in my office. I was homeless. I was showering at the gym and now I'm a multimillionaire and that was nine years ago. There's no way to water that down. That's just That's just what happened. So I didn't do any of this for the last seven years. <clears throat> to learn my wife's business. Now I'm able to, by the way, that email I sent out 10 free coachings, 56 people responded. I'm going to coach every one of them for free That's amazing. because I know it's going to come back. Um, so now in, in my world of land, okay. Um, I can pay non real estate agents. I can pay anybody I want a referral fee because it's land in traditional real estate i know you're limited on what you can do now i don't know the law but i'm a painter and i'm painting this ugly ass wall and then i gave them your card you sell the home there has to be something you can do right what, what can you do by law nothing you cannot pay anyone a referral fee unless they're a licensed agent can you um, buy me a cigar yeah i can, but i can do that as a gift but i cannot tie it back to the sale at all Correct. Okay. What's the dollar amount you can do under law? Isn't it like 50 bucks or something? $50 is a gift. Ooh. Same to anyone. Okay, go ahead. Go in ahead. The so yeah. One of the and you do it in the transaction. Huh? <laughs> and you do it in the transaction? No. no. Okay, so that's, that's a separate, but you have to claim it. How does that work? You can claim it under taxes, but that's about it. Um, there's there's so many strict so many so many strict laws after the 20,008 situation that even partners like title cannot before they used to be able to give right. you and like pay for your marketing they cannot pay for your marketing anymore by law right so right, there, right so there's a lot of things one thing I know that people get around it um is like let's say this actually someone approached me about this and we were in communication so there's this person that does credit repair for a lot of like a huge a huge company credit repair and he's like hey i have people that come here for real estate blah blah so we started the conversation i was like 
hey, listen, if you want to send me referrals, great. He's like, great, but you have to give me a percentage. And I was right. like, okay, by law, I cannot do that. So we're going right. to have to talk about that as a marketing fee. Right. So okay. that's the only way to be around it. And also it has to be like after tax. No, there is a way around it. There's so, always everything. Yeah. So let me tell you what we do. Yeah. <laughs> Number one, number one, there's no need to tell the whole world about it. That's number one. Right, you can ask. Number two, I've paid. Do you, how much time do you have? Can we go over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have time. Can we go over on our free training that I'm not getting paid for? <laughs> I'm going to show you something. Yes, please. Uh, I get approached by a lot of network marketers. And I've created a presentation, and this is going to shorten a lot of the stuff I wanted to tell you. So bear with me here. Mm. By the way, write down three words. This is what goes in the memo of the check. I have paid referral fees. There's no question I've paid referral fees than more than you've made in some months, maybe some quarters. Oh, yeah. It's big. Big. Now, in the in the in the in the in the uh, the the memo line of the check, three words: marketing consulting fee. Okay. See, that's what I was told by someone else. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna try to do the screen share again. Yeah. Do you see the network marketer approach? I do. Yeah. I'm going to try to make it bigger without covering up our. Okay, let's just do this. I'm going to make this as big as I can without covering up my other screen. You see that okay? Yeah. <clears throat> Perfecto. I'm going to take you through a little bit of this presentation real quick, okay? Yes. Now, you get approached by network marketers. Hey, Angie, we're looking to build a little bit of extra money on the side, that type of thing. Hair, makeup. Screams, you, you name it. Yeah. Oh. Did it all the time. <clears throat> so I'm going to teach them an approach that I'm going to go over with you, but I want to show you a couple things real quick. So <clears throat> just to go over this real quick. So I've been running groups for 17 years. I have two courses on networking. I teach it one-on-one. -on -one. I'm a land banker. <clears throat> I was a recruiter with Cisco Systems years ago. You see that? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> over 6,000 coffee meetings, blah, blah, blah. Bankrupt in 2008. That's the car that got repossessed, my Cadillac. That's the office I lived in. I had my clothes. Now this is, a bedroom was here and a bedroom was down there. So there were a lot of closets and there was a converted old mansion into offices. That's closets where I put my stuff. I slept on that futon and I showered at the gym for eight months, okay? Wow. Homeless, living in my office. I shared the stage with Les Brown, if you've heard of him. Yes, I have. I cured type 2 diabetes. I almost died. I went on a hike. I didn't know I had diabetes. I, I lost uh, 39 pounds or whatever that number is, cured type 2 diabetes. So I'm a big believer in you know the health industry and all that stuff. That's the shelf I was trying to show you with all the awards. And then I want to show you commission checks. So th these are checks that I've taken to the bank, that I've walked into the bank and deposited in my account. Do you see that one? Yeah. Do you see that one? Yes. See that one? Yes, I do. See that one? Mm-hmm. Okay, I want you to look really close at this one. I'm gonna leave it there for a second. Now, you're, the screen you're looking at, and if my wife's upstairs. You don't believe me? I'll, she's on a conference call. I'll call her down here when she's done, and she'll verify. When I tell you five minutes, when I tell you five minutes, I'm exaggerating that we made this money. So I want to tell you a story. Uh, I'm going to go back to camera here. Do you see me again? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> we we get hooked up with a title agent who I'm not naming because I'm recording this. Actually, she was uh down there. It's different up here. There's title and there's 
It's the title people that can't. Oh, she was an escrow. She was a, she was an escrow escrow consultant. Mm -hmm. It's a fine line whether they can take referral fees or not or any type of kind of fee. Mm -hmm. But we had the way around, which is the marketing consultant fee. So, um, Angela, if I say, "Hey, Angela, you should meet with more attorneys," did I give you advice? Yes. So next house you sell, you could write me a check for 10 grand and put marketing consultant fee because I give you marketing advice. Right. That's anyone. Yeah. So what she did is she put a bunch of people, she put 20 people in a room, bought them $20 salads each. So she, she invested about 400 bucks. <clears throat> My wife came in, did an hour long talk. There was a lady in the room who her and her mom, her grandfather bought land in 1979 for a quarter million and sold it for millions and millions and millions and millions because you know bart in the bay area has bart the bart train mm -hmm. the stop was going to be touching her mom's land and they wanted the land for the parking lot okay it was a lot of money it was uh eight, it was eight figures so she happened to be there because she heard land i got land we're selling land let me learn more she ends up doing a 1031 exchange with us so because my wife did a class and the daughter of the mother whose father, so her grandfather died and they inherited this land. Okay, so the lady was in the room. Her mom was ahead of the, the trust and the will of when the land was going to sell. They were in escrow. We go over to her mom's house. We sit down with them. All of those checks I showed you are from those two ladies. That's crazy. So now. From an escrow officer to a lady to her mom, the reason the $134,000 check was five minutes is because she bought a couple parcels. We took her down to Van Nuys. She met the owners of the company, and we came back home, and they sent us this monster parcel, and we called her on the phone on a Friday and said, we got this monster to kind of finish out your 1031, um, but we only have it until Monday, so we need to meet with you. We need to show you. My wife brings people to the land virtually with, with Google Earth. Yeah. We don't have to go. We don't have to go show houses. It's freaking dirt. So yeah. um, the lady, the lady, we're, we call her up. We got this parcel. We, we got to show it to you. Guys, I'm too busy this weekend. I go, I'm like, yeah. just tell me where to send the check. That's it. Done. That hundred and thirty-four thousand I showed you is what I walked into Comerica Bank and deposited in my account. So, in that case, even though we do land, was that not a buyer? Yes, it was. That buyer came because a title agent referred someone who referred her mother. So when I was reading your notes, I took notes when we first started this, and you were like, "Ah, buyers, they blah blah blah. Maybe they're not even qualified or whatever." If they come from a CPA, if they come from a trusted advisor, that job, no, that that job, that person knows that that person has the money. They're looking at their freaking accounts. They said downsize, upsize, getting married, divorce, blah, blah, blah. They know. It's a serious lead as opposed to I kind of just no. something. Yeah, let me let me let me go even deeper. It's not a lead. There's only it can only be one of two things. People get this so mixed up. Facebook, I'm trying to see the re cameras reverse. So if I do this, Facebook, <clears throat> mailing, advertising, any form of lead generating, when you advertise your commoditized, you're only going to get leads. You will never get a referral from that. When you sit with a CPA and the CPA the client goes, I got a hundred thousand in my account. We've been renting. Um, I, I I think we're we're interested in buying now. When he opened, I'm literally opening up a drawer right now and I'm pulling this out. Call Angela. Is the sale not 95% done? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So person already what qualified, I, they know to qualify them essentially. So I'm gonna go back to 
um, this slide because it's going to be easier than just trying to explain it. So I'm going to pull that presentation back up. So bear with me here. Do you see the 134K again? Yeah. Have you ever heard of the reticular activating system before? I have not. <clears throat> I see what you see, so I'm not going to keep asking you if you see it because it shows me what you see. Okay. Yeah. Excuse me, I just coughed. Okay. Now, this is in the brain stem. If you get this, your life's going to change. Okay. This is for if you're talking to your best friend, your mom, your next door neighbor, which is on, remember, that's on the one side where the one effort for one piece of return. Talk to your next door neighbor, make a sale. That was a one for one. Now you got to go talk to more people. Get a CPA on your team and maybe one deal comes in every month. And then all you have to do is maintain that CPA and keep them happy. And then you've got this stream of stuff coming in. You're not constantly cold calling and spending money on mailers and all that crap. Mm -hmm. But this works on either side because you need to learn how to program people's minds so they only think of Angela. So I'm going to go over this with you. Now, the reticular activating system in your brainstem, I want you to think of, uh, are you in your 30s? Yeah. Okay, so you're old enough to know, and it's a joke, but you're old enough to know what an AM, FM radio is? <laughs> yes, I do. Okay. And if I you tune in the music industry, I'm very familiar with the There you go. Radio. So, so you can tune that radio station into, even though I'll throw up if you do, to country music or to hip hop or to whatever you want, correct? Correct. Now, I'm going to switch back to my camera real quick because I want you to look at me. The radio station has an antenna, and you tune it to country music, and the country music goes in the antenna comes out the speakers, pretty much, right? Same with Sirius Satellite. So if, that's, if this tunes to a certain vibration, right, and that vibration matches this, the music flies into it. That's the antenna. Yeah. So... Would you agree without getting to let's not get too crazy? Would you agree that I'm actually holding in my hands right now country music? Yes. Where else is it? No, you're yeah. not holding it. But if I tune my radio into it, isn't it coming through this? So isn't it right here? Just waiting to go into it? Yes. Thank you for agreeing. Because if you don't agree, I can't help you. This is the foundation of how you're going to build. If you don't get this, then I can't. Everything I taught you will not work. So I'm no, going to go I, back. Yeah. I'm going to go back now. All right. So do you see this pic, this picture right here of this thing in your brain stem? Mm -hmm. Okay, everyone has one. That's your AM, FM radio antenna, and it's in your brain stem right now. So how would you like to learn how to program that in other people's minds so their radio station, their real estate radio station is programmed to your to, to only know you. I would very much like that. I'm going to teach you how to do it right now. So before I do, I want you to think, Angela, th this is a bad example right now, but three weeks ago, you're driving around a, an, an area that's way more exclusive than where I live. Now you're just driving, you're going to the grocery store or wherever, you're going to meetings or whatever. How many gray BMWs do you think that you remember seeing on an average day? Without really trying hard, how many do you think you see on an average day? Gray BMWs. 35. Perfect. Now, Angela, when, when all this clears and you do the same driving around, if I say, hey, Angela, walk around all day long, I, I mean, drive around wherever you're going that day, and all I want you to do is look for gray BMWs, how many do you think you'll see? 150. At least. Yeah. Okay. I just programmed your reticular activating system, and I'm going to teach you how to do it on a deeper level. <clears throat> Those 150 BMWs, would you agree, were always there? You just decided to notice them. Correct. Okay. They've always been there. Yeah. Even Angela is not powerful enough to think it and have them pop out of the ground. Even Angela is not that powerful. No, we find what we look for. <laughs> right. You find what you look for because and only because you have a reticular activating system. Do you, do you resonate with that? Yes, I get that. Beautiful. 
I'm so I, I got the goosebumps on my arm right now is amazing. So, all right. I'm not going to go too deep on the grocery store, but if you have a shopping list, you walk down the aisle, you grab the jelly, you go down another aisle, you grab the rice, and then you look at your list and you go, oh, peanut butter. <clears throat> you go back and the peanut butter was next to the jelly. I'm so stupid. Why didn't I grab the peanut butter when I was standing here grabbing the jelly? It's because you have a reticular activating system. It can only do one thing at a time. <clears throat> now, this point being made, I need you to understand this. 99% of all real estate agents, Angela, say this. Hey, what's a good client for you? Anybody. So, Angela, does anybody get, get me the first answer of your gray BMW question or your second answer of your gray BMW question? The second one. No, the first one. First one. Oh. Good client for you, Angela, is anybody. That's not true. That is, the reticular activating system doesn't have it. Now, can you, okay, watch. I'm going to go back. Look at this. Check this out. Here we go. Here's the antenna. God dang, I lost myself. Hold on. Here's the antenna. Yeah. Real estate agents go, Rick, anybody's good for me. Okay, Angela, any radio station? No, because everybody's not in the same tune that that radio right. station picks up. Number one. Number two, you need to program their mind singularly for referrals for you. So yeah. if I if I go to Sirius Satellite and I go put on every station, what will happen? Not all will play. Nothing. If yeah. I go to an AM or FM radio station, I take the, the dial and I wheel it back and forth, what will this tune into? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. So if somebody goes, what's a good client for you? And you say anyone, your referral practice. Doesn't work. Yeah. Doesn't work. Let's go back to the reticular activating system. Now with this, I can tell you're getting it because your head's shaking. And if this record is showing all this, you're going to see yourself doing this. <laughs> that's when you know you're firing the reticular activating system, the person you're talking to. That's when you know you can move on to the next step. Okay. So I saw you do this. I already know you have it. If you're not doing that, I'm going to stay on this point because I cannot leave it until you get it. But I no, see I, you got it. Because I got you to do that. All right. Back to the screen. Do you see that acorn? Say that again. You see the acorn? I do. I plant it in the ground. What does it become? Um, a pine tree. It actually becomes an oak tree. An oak tree. Sorry. <laughs> it doesn't become a lemon tree. It doesn't become an orange tree. It doesn't become a weed. It doesn't become a bush. It doesn't become a pine tree or a Christmas tree. 